A lot of us have an email that we send every week or every month that pretty much has the same information, only key pieces of data are updated. And yes, I'm aware that I'm doing this in a text editor, not an email box, but for the purpose of what I'm trying to show, it's fine. Now what I see a lot of people do is just copy and paste the old message into a new message and update the key pieces of information. I'm going to show you in this video a better way to go about it and explain why doing it that way can actually cause some problems. I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and this is Get Organized. And like I said in this video, I'm going to show you a better way to send emails regularly using templates. So first let me just wrap up quickly why it's a bad idea to copy and paste the email. As anyone who's used this method knows, at some point or another you forget to update either a key piece of information or maybe even the subject line, somebody in the to or cc fields, and you send the wrong information. The idea with templates is to leave those key data points blank so that you can just fill them in. So in Gmail, these are called canned responses. They're really simple and easy to use and you can create multiple canned responses. Then when you have to write your email, you just drop that information in, fill in your numbers, and you're done. The article that comes with this video explains how to get canned responses in Gmail because it's not actually built in. You have to go to this labs tab to add it. Now let's take a look at Outlook. It's a little bit clumsier to use in Outlook and it's called email templates rather than canned responses, but the idea is the same. You just write what you want to save and then save it as a template so that you can reuse it another time later. Again, the article that comes with this video explains exactly how to set it up and how to use it. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy helping you stay organized. Email me anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.